Hey, what's up guys? This is Debarshi, your Autistic Tech Boy, and back here with another video. Today we are going to be commencing an upgrade project that will take place over a series of videos. This is my brother's 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro, and he hasn't really done any upgrades to this thing. It only has the stock 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It has the same lousy 5400 RPM hard drive. It has the same old battery. What are we going to use? First up is the Samsung 860 Evo SSD. Traditional 5400 RPM hard drives average about 100 megabytes per second read and write speeds. SSDs, particularly this one, the 860 Evo, average about 500 plus megabytes per second read or write. Now this isn't anything compared to modern MacBook Pros that have PCIe based flash storage. However, this is more than enough for most people. You can even get a lot of good video editing and photo editing done with just this. We're going to be upgrading to this SSD. If there's one upgrade I recommend out of everything we're going to be doing, this is the one. SSDs are actually coming down in price. I got this 500 gig SSD for 70 bucks. You can get a 240 gig SSD, a 250 gig SSD for much cheaper, like probably half that price. We have an enclosure, a hard drive enclosure for the SSD. And this will allow us to install Mac OS onto the SSD before we put it inside our computer. Additionally, we have a new power battery. This is a 65 watt hour battery. The battery inside here is slightly smaller at 63.5 uh, watt hours. I really hope that I can get a good 6 to 6.5 hours of battery life out of this thing. I mean, nothing compared to the new retinas which get a good 10 hours of battery life, if not more than that. But hey, 6.5 hours is actually much better than a lot of PCs out there. So yeah, that'd be good. And then we have the RAM upgrade. Like I said before, my brother has kept the stock 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. I'm going to be upgrading this to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. For most people, I think 8 gigabytes is more than enough. But just because, you know, I kind of want to have a little bit of fun here and there with Final Cut and whatnot, 16 gigabytes is definitely plenty. Finally, I may consider doing a bonus round. Yes, computers have microprocessors like CPUs. CPUs heat up really quickly. So in order to manage the heat, each computer has what we call a heat sink. Heat sinks tend to have these air gaps, which affect performance when it comes to collecting the heat and dissipating it out of the computer. In order to amend that, they put thermal paste. Problem is, Apple's application of thermal paste along with like most laptop manufacturers sucks. It's almost as if you went to a McDonald's line and they put a bunch of mustard and mayonnaise and just scrammed it all together. You can actually rectify this by, well, buying your own thermal compound and repasting the CPU. This is very easy on the Retina line of MacBook Pros because Retina MacBook Pros have the heat sink literally at the bottom of the logic board. So all you have to do is unscrew the heat sink and take it out and clean it and repaste it and boom, done. On the unibody line, however, it's not as easy. You actually have the heat sink at the top of the logic board, which means you have to take out the logic board, you have to take out the fan, you have to really unplug a lot of the peripherals and then after repasting the CPU, you have to put all of that back together again. And there's just so much room for error. And this is my brother's laptop, technically. So I don't know if I want to do that. But if I do do that, I will definitely link the video to it. Anyways, this has been Debarshi, and see you in the next video.